you're thinking about buying a snoo. But hey, it's a really big investment. It's over $1,000. That's a lot of money for essentially a crib. And a crib that your baby's going to outgrow in six months. So you might be asking yourself, is that really worth it? In our experience, yes, it was absolutely worth it. We ordered the snoo um, several months before our kiddo was born, but we had it scheduled to be delivered right around his um, due date. I delivered a little bit early, so the snoo got here a few days later, and it was a game changer for us. Here's what's really cool about the snoo. I have two kids, and if you have two kids, especially a toddler and a newborn, really do consider it. It was like having an extra set of hands. I had a safe, secure place where he wasn't going to move around and thrash around um, to be able to put my kiddo, and it just gave me that extra level of, um, of care for him to be able, like, something else could rock him for two minutes while I was dealing with the two-year-old, right? Um, so, like, just having two kids under three is so hard. Um, and for those six, for six months, the snoo was really, really helpful in that. For me, that's what made it really, really worth it. The other thing I really, really loved about the snoo is the swaddle. This is the best swaddle on the market, seriously. Even if you don't get the snoo, consider the happiest baby brand swaddle. I think it's called the Sweet Pea. Um, I loved this swaddle and the snoo. These are the flaps that keep it in the snoo to keep it engaged so your kid can't roll over huge piece of mine and they work fantastic. He stays on his back. I mean, they can't get off their backs. It's great. Um, and you might think, well, what happens if they like get, um, spit up or any of those kinds of things? Look, your kid is smart. Uh, whenever ours spit up, he just, I mean, he handled it. He just kind of moved over to the side and, and never had a problem. And he didn't ever, what was great is when he was, um, feeling better, he was still on his back still in a really safe position. So that was really, really great. Um, so this swaddle is fantastic. Obviously I'm using a baby doll because my kid is too big. This is Joe. Um, Joe is my toddler's baby doll and he's going to be my model today. Um, so he, you just strap him in and it's Velcroed and they have a much harder time getting out of this swaddle. It's really great. And I loved that it could clip in and out of the snoo so I could still cuddle him. Um, even when, I thought he needed me and not the, the snoo rocker, which does happen. Uh, your baby still needs you and you'll still know when he needs you or she. Um, so I love the snoo, uh, the, the swaddle, totally recommend that. I'm not going to show you the actual snoo because I feel like there's plenty of videos to that do that. What I'm going to show you is the app because I don't think enough of these review videos go over the app. That's what I was really curious about. Okay. So here's what's really cool. I actually already started playing it. Um, it lets you know when the clips are engaged. I put a swaddle in there so that it would uh, think there was a baby in. And um, I'm on a different floor than the snoo, and I can still control it. So that was really great because I was still able to spend time with um, my other family members uh, without always having to be right next to the baby all of the time. So you just press play, and it'll start up the snoo. It tells you kind of what level the baby is at. As the baby starts to cry, the rocker does respond, but also you can control it right here. We always had a camera so we could see how he was doing. Um, and so I would just manually change it up and down. It makes the white noise go, go louder. It was, it was really, really strong. And my kiddo still responds really well to white noise after being in the snoo for six months. Um, it also has a log that tells you how the baby is sleeping. Um, throughout the day, this would show you like highs and lows when he was, um, you know, like when he was restless and stuff. So you get an idea of how he was sleeping. Um, and then what's really cool is there is an option for a motion limiter right there um, and a weaning option. So if you don't want the snoo to go really fast, if that kind of freaks you out a little bit, you can control that and it'll never go to those higher levels. And that's what's really fantastic about this app. And then the weaning feature, as your baby gets older, it'll stop the motion and help get them used to just the white noise. So those things that I really, really liked about it. Um, ultimately, the snoo was fantastic for our family. If I had to do it all over again, I would buy it again. Um, I thought it looked great. Uh, and it was incredibly useful. So for me and my family, the snoo was absolutely worth it.